Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about when the cold will return to the eastern United States. Now, we have been kind of warm these last two days. It's been really nice. I'm really into gardening. Uh, so it was really nice to be able to clean up my gardening stuff and kind of get that ready as it's been in the 60s here. Uh, and, it, and it looks like it's going to be warm for the next, you know, little while in this week. So it's going to be really nice. So if you do have gardening stuff to get done, I highly recommend it uh, this week. It's going to be really nice along the eastern seaboard. Uh, so I, I highly recommend getting out there and doing some stuff because it's going to be very warm, but cold is on the way, uh, at least briefly. Now, here's right now, we're looking at Monday 18Z, so this is this is today. Uh, this is what we're looking at. All those reds and pinks, that's really far above average, and that's why it's been so warm in all these areas. You see there is a lot of cold there for the Dakotas and uh, Montana, those areas. Uh, but it's really been, you, you know, secluded to those areas, and I, I expect it to s spread a lot towards the end of the week, and that's what this whole video is about. So, we're going to move on one day, or actually a few days here, uh, to all the way to Friday. So, it's going to be warm along the eastern seaboard all the way till Friday, so we have many, many days here of very warm weather. Very nice weather to be outside. Uh, but by Friday, you can see it's kind of exclusive to just the very eastern coast of the United States and areas more inland like Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, and some of those Gulf states even westward are going to be cold by this point. Uh, and, then, and then here by Saturday, you can see the cold has reached the eastern seaboard and it were at least average on the east coast of the United States, if not slightly below average there for the east coast and pretty far below average in some areas. Uh, but and then here by Sunday we get kind of average in some areas, kind of above average in some areas, kind of all over the place. Uh, but by Monday we have a little bit of a southeast ridge come back according to this model, and possibly warmth uh, returning for early next week, uh, February 11th. So it's kind of a uh, probably a coin toss after the 10th. What's going to happen? Uh, it could go either way. Most likely we're leaning towards warm right now, uh, but it is going to be cold for your weekend. Now, here's a second opinion. Here's your European ensemble model. And you can see that uh, by Friday, we have that warmth. And it, obviously for today, it has the same forecast. But you can see it, it has that warmth uh, exclusive for the East Coast uh, by the Friday the 8th. Yeah, February 8th. Uh, again, exclusive for that East Coast, just like the GEFS just showed the model we were just looking at. And then you can see by Saturday... Uh, we're below average in the East Coast, just like the previous model, uh, slightly below average. And then, just like the other model, by Monday, we kind of have that Southeast Ridge come in and a little bit of warmth returning. So this is quite confident. We have two models in really good agreement here. Uh, so I'm quite confident in these forecasts that these models are projecting. Anyway, guys, I hope this video is very helpful, and I hope this is going to encourage you guys to make some outdoor plans. It's going to be very nice, and I can't guarantee that after the 10th it will be nice like it is this week. So get out there and do something with it. Anyway, guys, have a great week. I'll see you in the next video.